Microsoft has revealed that Windows 10 will bring its voice-controlled assistant Cortana to PCs. It also unveiled a headset that it said would one day project the operating system overviews of the real world. In addition, the firm announced that the OS upgrade would be offered free of charge for devices running Windows 8, Windows 7, and Windows Phone. The offer, which is limited to the Windows 10's first year of release, may aid its adoption. It marks a change in strategy from Microsoft's previous policy of charging for major updates, and could help avoid a repeat of the relatively slow uptake of Windows 8. One analyst suggested the firm had needed to renew interest in its ecosystem. Overall, we know that about only about 10% of computers are running Windows 8 and the adoption rate among companies is similar or lower, said Frank Gillette, an analyst at the Forrester Consultancy. Developers are not paying much attention to Windows for mass-market consumer apps, and you could even argue that for enterprise software most of the energy is going into mobile apps for iPad and Android tablets. Windows 10 is in effect a huge invitation to software developers to write exciting, powerful applications that will draw consumers. My hunch is that they can succeed in getting a new generation of PC and tablet applications. The challenge is getting people interested in its phones. Holographic Helmet It is likely to be years away from release, but Microsoft's chief executive Satya Nadella said the HoloLens headset represented a magical moment of category creation that developers lived for. The wearable technician's augmented reality see-through lenses represent a major leap forward over Google Glass and other existing eyewear, assuming the machine lives up to its on-stage demo, in which computer-generated elements appeared in the world surrounding the wearer. The company said that the final version of the machine would not need to be linked to other devices to work, and should be released within Windows 10's time frame. It revealed NASA was already working with the kit, and said the US Space Agency hoped to start controlling its Mars rovers with a prototype version as soon as July. Other demos involving the machine included the wearer. Playing Minecraft with the video game's graphics appearing over living room furniture. Seeing a Skype video appear as if it was taking place on a building wall. Creating a model of a drone, which she saw in front of her face while shaping it by moving her hands and giving voice commands. The true innovation HoloLens delivers will be determined by developer commitment in the months and years to come, commented Jeff Blaber from the CCS Insight Consultancy. Windows 10 is a defining moment for Satya Nadella early in his tenure as CEO. The collaboration required to deliver HoloLens to market is an encouraging sign that he's breaking down the silos that slowed innovation and stalled execution in recent years. Windows 10 brings the same operating system to devices of all sizes, rather than having different ones for PCs tablets, mobile phones and the firm's Xbox games console. One of the key features that consumers will be able to use on PCs from day one is Cortana the voice-controlled tool previously limited to Windows Phone handsets. Microsoft executive Joe Belfiore demonstrated how the software could be told to bring up PowerPoint presentation documents, locate photos taken during a specific month, dictate and send emails, tell the user whether or not the weather forecast indicated they should wear a coat later, show where their car was parked. In addition, Mr. Belfiore showed how the software could be used to respond to requests that had been typed, rather than spoken into a PC. Windows 8 had been criticized by some for placing so much focus on touch-centric commands rather than the mouse and keyboard. But Mr. Gillette said he thought the addition of Cortana's voice controls could prove more popular. Voice is a going to complement other ways of interacting with the computer not be a substitute, he said. If you had to say every command instead of touching or clicking, then that would be annoying. But if you can quickly say to Cortana, for example, schedule lunch with my mum next Tuesday, then that is powerful. Browsing with Spartan Mr. Belfiore also highlighted one of the core benefits of Windows 10, a single app will run on multiple types of device, with the user interface reformatting itself to suit the machine it is running on rather than having a different program for phones, tablets and PCs. He showed how this meant more advanced versions of the firm's popular office programs Excel, PowerPoint and Word could be brought to handsets running Windows 10 than were possible under Windows Phone 8.
He also demonstrated a new Universal Photos app that collates and sorts pictures taken with different devices. Mr. Belfiore also confirmed reports that the firm's Internet Explorer web browser was being replaced by a new program code named Project Spartan. This will have Cortana built in to allow voice commands and provide extra personalized information, such as directions to a restaurant whose website is being looked at. The software also includes a new noting mode, which will let users scribble or type over a page and then share it with others. Project Spartan shows a new Microsoft that is not afraid to depart from legacy in order to deliver a better experience, remarked Carolina Milanese from Kantar World Panel Comtech. The new system also introduces the ability to stream Xbox One video games from the console to any other Windows 10 PC or tablet on the same Wi-Fi network. This means that users will be able to play any game in their Xbox library on another device in another room of their home if the property's main TV is being watched by someone else. The facility is similar to the service Sony offers for its PlayStation 4 games machine that allows it to stream titles to Spiria phones and tablets and the PlayStation TV mini console.